channel. For those of you who are just tuning in, my name is Christabel. When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all my other videos that I've done on my channel. I just also want to say thank you all for 200 subscribers. Thank you all for getting me this far. Thank you all so much. Anyway, in today's video, I'll be talking about two topics the skeletal system and the hair. First, I will start with the skeletal system. The skeletal system consists of all the bones, cartilage, tendons and ligaments. Altogether, the skeleton makes up about 20% of a person's body weight. An adult skeleton consists of 206 bones. And babies usually have 300 bones. As they grow up, their bones fuse together, making them have the total of 206 bones, like I said earlier. There are also some differences in the male and female skeleton. The male skeleton is usually longer and has a high bone mass. On the other hand, the female skeleton has a broader pelvis to accommodate for pregnancy and childbirth. The skeletal system can be broken into two parts, known as the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The adult axial skeleton consists of 80 bones. It's made up of the bones that form the vertical axis of the body, such as the bones of the head, neck, chest, and spine. The adult skull contains 22 bones. These bones can be further classified by location. Cranial bones. The eight cranial bones form the bulk of the skull. They help to protect your brain. Facial bones. There are 14 facial bones. They are found on the front of the skull and make up the face. Auditory ossicles. The auditory ossicles are six small bones found within the inner ear. Canal, sorry, in the skull. There are three auditory ossicles on each side of the head, known as the malleus, or also known as the hammer, incus, or also known as the anvil, and the stapes, also known as the stirrup. They work together to transmit sound waves from the surrounding environment to the structures of the inner ear. Hyoid. The hyoid is a U-shaped, it's a U-shaped bone found at the base of the jaw. It serves as a point of attachment for muscles and ligaments in the neck. Vertebral column. The vertebral column is made up of 26 bones. The first 24 are all vertebrae, followed by the sacrum and the tailbone. The 24 vertebrae can be further divided into the cervical vertebrae. These seven bones are found in the head and neck. Thoracic vertebrae. These 12 bones are located in the upper back. Lumbar vertebrae. These five bones are found in the lower back. The sacrum and the tailbone are both, are both made up of several fused vertebrae. They help support the weight of the body while sitting. They also serve as attachment points for various ligaments. Thoracic cage. The thoracic cage is made up of the sternum and 12 pairs of ribs. These bones form a protective cage around the organs of the upper torso, including the heart and the lungs. Some of the ribs attach directly to the sternum, which are, while others are linked to the sternum through cartilage. Some have no attachment points and are referred to as floating ribs. 
a pendicular skeleton. There are a total of 126 bones in the appendicular skeleton. It consists of the bones that make up the arms and legs, as well as the bones that attach them to the axial skeleton. The pectoral girdle is where the arms attach to the axial skeleton. It is made up of the clavicle, or also known as the collarbone, and the scapula, or also known as the shoulder blade. There are two of each of these, one for each arm. Upper limbs. Each arm contains 30 bones known as the humerus. The humerus is the long, is the long bone of the arm. The radius. The radius is one of the two long bones of the forearm found on the thumb side. The ulna. The ulna is the second long bone of the forearm found on the pinky finger side. The carpals. The carpals are a group of eight bones found in the wrist area. The metacarpals. The metacarpals are five bones found in the middle area of the hand. The phalanges. The phalanges are, are 14 bones that make up the fingers. The pelvic girdle. The pelvic girdle, commonly known as the hips, is where the legs attach to the axial skeleton. Each hip bone consists of three parts. The ilium. The ilium is the, the, ilium is the top portion of each hip bone. The ischium. The ischium is a curved bone that makes up the base of each hip bone. Pubis. The pubis is located in the front part of the hip bone. Each leg is made up of 30 bones, known as the femur. The femur is the large bone of the upper leg. The tibia. The tibia is the main bone of the lower leg. It forms the shin. The fibula. The fibula is the second bone in the lower leg, found in the outer leg. The patella. The patella can also be called the kneecap. The tarsals. The tarsals are the seven bones that make up the ankle. The metatarsal. The metatarsals are the five bones that make up the middle area of the foot. The phalanges. The phalanges are the 14 bones that, are, that also make up the toes. Now, Moving on to the hair. Hair is, a sim hair is simple in structure, but has important functions in social functioning. Hair is made up of a tough protein called keratin. A hair follicle anchors each hair into the skin. The hair bob forms the base of the hair follicle. In the hair bob, living cells divide and to build the hair shaft. Blood vessels nourish the cells in the hair bulb and deliver hormones that modify hair growth and structure at different times of life. Hair growth occurs in cycles consisting of three phases. Anagen, a growth phase. Most hair is growing, most hair is growing at any given time. Each hair spends several years in this phase. Catagen, a transitional, transitional phase. Over a few weeks, hair growth slows and the hair follicle shrinks. Telogen, the resting phase. Phase. Over months, hair growth stops and the old hair detaches from the hair follicle. A new hair begins the growth phase, pushing the old hair out. Hair grows at different rates in different people. Average rate is around one half of an inch per month. Hair color is created by pigment cells producing melanin in the hair follicle. With aging, pigment cells die and hair turns gray. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss an upload.